Hello and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this video I will show you how you can easily generate a realistic business card mockup in Illustrator and Photoshop using Adobe Firefly. So let's just jump right in. I will start by grabbing my rectangle tool and then I will just draw out a rectangle shape, something like that for my background. And then let's just go to our effects, 3D and materials, extrude and bevel. And now let's go to our rotation presets and then change this to isometric top. And then I also want to make this a wood block. So I will make it kind of a light wood color, something like that. Okay. And then just grabbing my selection tool, I'll drag this at kind of the angle I want it to be. So something like that. I want it to be off screen as well. So something like that looks pretty good to me. And now let's add our business card shapes. So let's just click. The width of a business card is 3.5 inches by two inches high. Perfect, and then I'll just make this white. And again, go to our effects, 3D and materials and extrude bevel. And we want this on the same axis, so isometric top. And then let's just rotate this 90 degrees and grab our selection tool and then just bring this on top of this block here. And I do want this to be way thinner, so let's just choose our depth and make it something like 0 0.25. The block width is honestly pretty good, but I'll just make it a bit smaller. That looks good. And now holding Alt on my keyboard, I will just duplicate my business card shape and bring it up to here. Perfect. I'll select the entire shape and just move it around. That looks pretty good. So now all we need to do is export this as a JPEG. So let's go to File, Export, Export As, and then I'll just save this as BC Mockup. Make sure Use Artboards is selected, and then just Export. So now using Adobe Firefly, which is firefly.adobe.com, let's scroll down and then just select our text to image, generate, and then to start, we can just choose any of these presets. And now let's change our aspect ratio to widescreen, our composition reference, let's use the image we just exported, drag that over, and then we can scroll down to our color and tone. You can change this to whatever you want. I will leave it at vibrant colors for now. And then lighting, let's change this to studio lighting. And then we can add our prompt. So I'll just say business cards. So to start my prompt will just be business cards on a block of wood with a light tan color background. These are not too bad, but let's change our vibrant color and tone to something maybe, hmm, warm. You know, I kind of like this one here at the bottom right. So once you have an image generated that you want to use, make sure you choose upscale. And then once you've upscaled this image, you can download it. Now in Photoshop, I just imported my generated mock-up background and my business card designs. But before we do anything, we want to make sure that our business card designs are smart objects. So just right click on your layer, convert to smart object, right click, convert to smart object. And that just allows us to make any changes to the design once the designs are in perspective. So now let's just grab our front card design and then using the Control or Command and T on your keyboard to use the transform mode. And then again, holding Control or Command and then just grabbing these anchor points to drag them out to the corners of your mockup. So that looks good. Just hit done. And then I'll do the exact same thing with the back card design. All right, there we go. And now let's just select both of our layers, the front and back design, and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And now to make this a bit more realistic and add some glare to it, let's just double click on our back card design. And under our blending options where it says underlying layer, let's just drag this right slider and holding alt or option on your keyboard. And then just drag this to the left and that just brings some of the glare on our card through the graphic. And then we can do the same thing with the left slider. 
as you see that removes some of the graphic on the outside of the card. Hit OK, and let's just do the exact same thing with the front design. Again, holding Alt or Option, and dragging the slider on the right inwards, and that brings some of the glare through the card. And that looks good. And now if you want to add any other graphics or make changes, you can just double click on your smart object, and then just draw or bring in any other graphics you want to your card. Hit Control or Command and S to save your design, and then it automatically shows up in your mockup. And that's how you can easily generate your own business card mockup using Illustrator and Photoshop with the help of Adobe Firefly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.